The following video will demonstrate how to use a new vibration instrument, the Viber X3. Here we have a simple balancing wheel set up. We will mount the handheld display on a fixed stand in order to show the operation of the instrument. Once turned on, the first screen will appear. You can see the overall vibration level is at 0.117 inches per second peak. You can also choose to measure in many different parameters, including mils or millimeters. We will use millimeters per second peak. As the black stability bar begins to settle, we can see the overall vibration level is now approximately 3.15 millimeters per second peak. The bearing condition is 0.39 G's. The next screen shows the first of the five highest amplitudes and the corresponding frequencies. At peak 1 it is showing that the most amount of vibration is happening at 1734 CPM, which is the same as the machine's RPM, indicating a balancing problem. Scrolling past the other peaks we can see that they are all very low. The next screen is temperature measurement. It is 14 degrees Celsius in the shop, but the hand temperature here is 30 degrees Celsius. We can also change this to Fahrenheit if we choose. Next we will listen to the bearing with the provided headphones. The sound you are hearing is from the pillar block bearing we have the transducer mounted on. We'll now go back to the first screen again and turn the measurement back to inches per second peak, which is the most popular vibration measurement parameter in North America. The overall vibration level is approximately 0.130 inches per second peak, with a bearing condition of about 0.41. We will now do a little repair work. We showed you that most, if not all, the vibration was unbalanced that we created, so let's remove the problem and restart the machine. Watch and listen as the machine comes up to speed. The vibration level has dropped a lot. It is now reading at 0.014 inches per second peak, but the bearing condition, however, is still high. Listen and watch the bearing condition reading as we grease the bearing. It drops to 0.22 the instance the grease hit, with the sound level dropping as well. Let us recap what we have shown you. The instrument will show you the overall vibration level of a machine. It will show you the bearing condition value. It will give you the five highest vibration amplitudes and the corresponding frequencies, which is used for simple vibration analysis. You can measure the temperature of your machine in Celsius or Fahrenheit. You can also listen to your bearing, which is great for troubleshooting and also when lubricating them. Most importantly, we have to state that you do not have to understand vibration analysis to use the Viber X3. We provide simple user guides and vibration charts that show you step by step how to monitor the condition of your plant's machinery.